Okay, so... I'll actually probably make a few copies of these, because... We're going to be... Bettering her. <laughs> I guess, I know, I did... I, trust me, I just used that word for comedic value and nothing else. Grammar, please, don't arrest me. Um, but we're going to be making our battle cruiser a bit more. Okay, yeah, now I can't talk. Um, we're going to be improving our battle cruiser. And I'm also going to be explaining what our, our old battle our, our old, yeah, we all own the battle cruiser, everybody. <laughs> Hop on board the battle cruiser, let's fly to the moon. Okay, the, the old battle the cruiser. Battle the cruiser? Battle the cruiser. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm just going to accept the fact that I'm just not going to be talking today. Um, but I'll just show you the old battle cruiser design. So just take out all of these drone launchers. And stick in proton torpedo launchers. Now, yes, it is a pro... pro torpedo. <coughs> torpedo. Torpedoes do not target seek. But. But. This design was incredible for crowd control. Like, I, I, I've been using a lot of fleet battles to test my ships because a lot of my ships are designed to work in groups, not alone. So, when I found out that you can actually use multiple ships in a fleet, I was just... I was on the floor crying for a little while. Because <laughs> so many of my ships are designed specifically for group work, but... I never knew I could actually put them in a group, so I always never tested any of my ships because I just knew they would fail every time. But now, I can actually test it out. So basically, I pinned this guy up against a lot of my other smaller ships, and these torpedoes here, they, they did some damage. Like, not, not in the beginning of the match, but we kind of just sit there for a minute or so before exploding, and... That minute could mean everything for this guy, because a minute later, a ship could be coming in from this angle, and they just hit the torpedo. I don't know why they're that stupid, but they just were. So I'm going to be abusing that little glitch in the AI today, and... Yeah, so... I'm going to be labeling these, by the way. Yes, I know, not enough P. And this guy, you will be getting something a bit more interesting. Okay. We got that. Now, I'm trying to decide what to put here. I know what I wanted to put, but I'm deciding if there's anything else that I would like. Maybe these as a broadside would be good, but no. The ship doesn't use... The AI doesn't use broadsides the right way, so... I'm not going to give it a chance to fail. I'm just going to go with what I know the AI knows how to use well. And that's missiles I can actually seek. This guy should be a beast. He should be. Probably won't be, but he should be. Now, this guy does not have any shields. Not None of these guys do. That's mainly because I couldn't find anywhere to put them. Basically, these things are worth 40p per piece. And no matter where I put them on this design, they'll never cover the entire thing. Unless if I just make the entire thing out of shields. So, how much health is this thing? It has 25 health. I also tried to make a variant that used the these, but... <laughs> a bit big, don't you think? <coughs> so yeah, we got our battle cruisers. No. This dual jacker design right here. I... I probably pointed this out in the last episode, but I don't know why I like this design so much. Oh, well, one, the AI knows how to use it, which I found very 
very surprising when I first saw it. But the AI, the AI can use this to somewhat of a good effect if placed in groups. In groups. On its own, it is pathetic, honestly. <laughs> That's the only word I can really use to describe this thing. It is pathetic on its own. But in groups, it doesn't destroy, but it distracts. And that's what it was meant to do. This thing, as I probably did explain in the last episode, this thing wasn't meant to have a purpose. It wasn't. It was just kind of meant to be, hey, I want to make a random ship. Oh, I can make this really cool design, and I kind of want to keep it because it looks so cool. It really wasn't intended to be useful for anything, but... I was kind of wrong. It's very useful. <laughs> Anyways. Ooh. Arm infection. I, I probably shouldn't be zoomed out all the time, but that's just how I learned how to play the game. You are defenseless. Okay. He's, I, I never played as that faction. I can. I don't have to unlock them or anything, but just a, a little voice in my head tells me, no, you aren't going to like this faction. But now I'm starting to change my mind a little bit. Because I do download some factions just because I want them to spawn naturally in the world. Not because I want to play as them. Like, the Spinner faction. I actually did want to... I don't know why I downloaded those guys, actually. I just kind of decided, hey, why not? More the merrier. And by that I mean the more, the more likely I'll die. Terran reinforcements. That, for once they actually didn't spawn right next to me, which I kind of like. And so did these guys. These guys. I always find these two together. And they don't like each other. I need to show you what these guys do when they're put together sometime. Because... I don't know how to describe it. It's Just think of... A yellow brick wall and a red brick brick wall pushing against each other. Every so often, the yellow brick mo wall. Okay, I'll I'll just I'll just explain this in the build mode. So let's say we have a red brick wall and a yellow. No, no, I need to. It's just for myself. We have the yellow brick wall, I know that's not yellow, and the red brick wall. So every so often, the yellow brick wall will push this way. And every so often, the red brick wall will push back this way. It's an endless loop that I somehow find very visually pleasing. But yeah, that's... Oh... You actually didn't do the nearly enough damage for me to actually be afraid of you. Oh, you have a laser. Is that one of my drones? These guys on. Okay, you are going down, my friend. Mainly because I can target you. What? Okay, yeah, I'm being targeted by my own people. What is this madness? Man, there we go. This faction is very slow. And it, probably because I'm not playing as aggressive with them. I'm, I'm actually a bit of a stalemate right now. Because I'm stuck between a giant bomb and a very spiky place. And another very spiky place. 
and another. Basically, I'm stuck between a bomb and a spiky place here, and it's not fun. It's another spiky place. There's a lot of spiky places here. Then again, no, I can't venture through the Terran lands. They'll kill me. I'm sorry. They they will. You know what? It won't hurt to try. And why am I being attacked by my own faction? Have they just exiled me? They just exiled me to my fate? Alright. Alright, this is this is the final straw. I'm going I'm going through the Terran lands whether they like it or not. And they're not spoiler alert, they're not gonna like it. In fact, they actually have really strong ships at the moment, so I probably shouldn't be doing this. Yep. Yep. Okay. I wouldn't normally leave these guys on, but I need to have them off for this. They cause too much problems. <laughs> okay, sometimes they help, sometimes they don't. It's it's just luck. Wait, how did I get R? Oh, anyways, that's probably enough for this video. I'm probably gonna upload one of these. <laughs> this is a bit insane, don't you think? Okay, I need to see this. Right, okay. So these are good for defense. Okay. Where? Okay, the core is right there. I think that I thought I really managed to delete the core. Okay. This is actually a lot better, although... A lot better in terms of it doesn't push me back a mile whenever I use it. This transition isn't going to be easy. No, not auto-fire. They can't turn that little fire. Auto-fire... You'd think it works like point defense, where they just automatically fire on an enemy if it's in range. But no, it's just... You, it fires when you're firing your other weapons. It's basically just an auto aim, which I don't really like. It might work on this ship design because I have missiles, but that I all that I'm always using no matter what. But no, but 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 yeah. That, that, this was the crayfish. This is my little showcase of the crayfish and how it's the most amazing ship you could ever want. Oh, it's the red, the red drones. That makes so much sense. Okay, my faction and the red drones look very similar. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And bye.